Hi everybody, this is Boogass Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the brand new Star Wars The Black Series Walmart exclusive Mercenary Gear Wrecker figure. So before we take a look at Wrecker, let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. So first up he comes with his knife. He can't hold this very well in either hand. Once you have the gun in his hand, especially if you have him holding it in both hands, this knife will be extremely loose, so that is a bit unfortunate. The knife can be stored very nicely in the sheath on his right leg, and it is very snug. It won't drop out once it's in there, so that is very cool. Up next, he comes with his blaster, and this is a scaled up version of the previous blaster that Wrecker had. And as you can see, this one was way smaller, and I feel like it looked kind of comical in his hand since he's, since he's a bigger figure. So yeah, I'm glad Hasbro improved this. But like I said, since it is bigger, it will stretch his hands out, so he won't be able to hold the knife as well. But that's a small price to pay for having an, a mostly accurate scaled weapon this time around. This new Season 2 Wrecker has a new belt piece, and you could actually get his uh, blaster attached to the strap here. The strap pegs into the back here, but it is a very small peg, so it does tend to pop out. So while it does look cool, it will pop out frequently. And finally, he comes with his new helmet, and it is painted very nicely. I do wish it would have had some black paint over top of it like the previous helmet had. You can see some black paint right here making the paint look like it's been chipped. I feel like the edges of this are a little too perfect. They could have uh, went in with the print tech and printed some black around the edges here. But I do think it looks good for the most part. It is the same exact helmet, just uh, panned a little bit differently. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt underneath the helmet. I think Hasbro did a very nice job on this head sculpt. It looks really good. I feel like it looks like a really good realistic of Wrecker from the cartoon. It kind of has that cartoon feel to it, but it kind of looks like Tamora Morrison as well. Um, the one weird thing is he has uh, his scars painted on up here just right up here and none of the rest of them are painted on so it's weird that hasbro chose to paint these lines right here on but not the rest of the scars that is very weird just like with hunter i feel like this new head sculpt is a lot better than the previous one i feel like the details are a lot cleaner on this new one you can actually see his five o'clock shadow he has a corrected skin tone and it's not as shiny you can see that this one is very very shiny it's a very shiny plastic and this is done in a matte finish so yeah, I think this head sculpt looks a lot better than this one. It is the same exact one, it's just painted a lot better and it's not so shiny. The armor has some great sculpt detail to it. It has a bunch of scratches sculpted on there, but no sort of paint variation other than like the orange and yellowish lines on his outfit. I do wish there would have been some printed on silver or even just some painted on silver down in the scratches in his armor. I think that would have looked very nice. This figure does not feature any new parts that I can tell from the previous record. It's just a repainted figure. Um, they're down in these lines right here, these should be black, so Hasbro did not paint that on, so that does irk me a little bit. It also irks me that they tried to uh, pass this off as uh, fabric, like right here. You can see that all they did was just not paint the armor on, because this is meant to be armor. <laughs> so, so it does kind of look funny especially because you can see the line where the fabric is. It just doesn't line up because it's supposed to be painted on armor. So Hasbro did take the uh, cheap way out. They could have at least given us a new bicep joint right there since, you know, this is a reused figure. As I said, he has that new belt piece. It does have some nice gold and silver detailing to it. As I said, I wish the uh, peg on this belt loop would have worked a lot better. It does come loose frequently. He has more of the updated Season 2 collars on this and some incredible sculpt detail. His armor is sculpted very, very nicely, but there's no sort of paint detail to reflect that. You really don't notice it unless you hold it up to the light. Like right here, this has some excellent sculpt detail, but you can't see any of it because there's no paint variation over top of it. If there would have been even just a gray wash, I think that would have looked excellent. So now let's go ahead and go over the articulation on this figure. So without the helmet, Wrecker has a ball-jointed head and neck that can look up all the way. He can look down just about all the way. With the helmet on, he can look up all the way. He can't move down that far. He can move his head side to side. He has shoulders, and these feel kind of stiff. It kind of worries me to move them. But he has shoulders that can move out that far. He has butterfly joints that can move just a little bit. He has some very nice deep cut single jointed elbows that can bend in all the way. 
he has a hinge on the right wrist that can move up and down and side to side. On this one, he has your regular swivel that just moves up and down and side to side. He has a ball jointed diaphragm that can move back just a little bit. He can hardly move forward. He can move side to side. He has hips that can just about do a complete split. He can kick forward that far. He can kick back just a little bit. He has swivel to thigh, single jointed knee that can bend back just about all the way, and a swivel ankle that can move down just a little bit, up just a little bit, and an ankle rocker. So now, let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here he is next to the previous version of himself. Here he is next to Season 2 Hunter. Here he is next to Echo. Here he is next to Tech. And finally, here he is next to Omega. So overall, I would highly recommend picking Wrecker up. I think he's a really cool figure. He could have had a lot more paint detail, but I still think he's a really nice figure. He was originally a deluxe figure at the $40 price point, so this version is actually cheaper than the original version. That's shocking to me. I'm, I'm really surprised that Hasbro didn't make this like $45 or $50, but nope, he is actually $27, which makes him cheaper than his initial release. So yeah, if you don't have that one or just want this particular look, I'd recommend picking this one up. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.